In this video, we're going to go ahead and delete all this code. All this code. And we're going to create something called a timer. Timers are pretty important because timers will allow you to keep your program going in real time. Um, and by that I mean, you ha so far we have where the code will only do something when it first loads and when you click something or something like that. But timers will let us actually keep something going and time events. So to create a timer, um, first we want to, let's just name it timer1. And we got to say, um, var timer1 equals new timer. And then we want to say um, timer1, I'm going to give it a tag, equals timer1. Tags are kind of like names. Um, the only reason I'm using a tag here because I'm, um, I'm not gonna, just not going to use a name. I don't, um, I don't even think timers have the name property. Let me see, timer.name equals blah blah blah. See, type timer do not have such a member. It doesn't have a name, so we're going to use a tag instead. Um, then timer one dot intervals. Um, interval is how how um the what basically a timer does is it executes an event every interval, and you specify how long you want the interval to be in. A, um, so if I say um, my interval is 5,000, that's 5 seconds. So every 5 seconds execute the event. Now timer1 dot um, add, and we're going to add a new um, event, and the event is going to be a tick event. And this event is going to basically do timer underscore tick. That's the function. Now the function, we're going to write function um, timer underscore tick same thing as most of them um, sender as object e as event args and in, uh, I added a tag in case you, you want to do multiple different timers you can do the switch statement like you saw in the last video so we're going to go ahead and say message box dot show the timer has tick and the timer won't start automatically because you can start and stop the timer from ticking anytime you want and to do that you say timer one dot start or timer one dot stop and so I want to say it's timer one dot start so it's going to start and every five seconds it's going to execute this event which is going to say the timer has ticked now let's compile this Now let's run it, and it's going now every five seconds. So we'll say the timer has ticked two, three, four, five. The timer has ticked. So that's basically how that works. Um, we can also say something like make it do it every second. That'll give us kind of a bit of message boxes. The timer has ticked. The timer has ticked. The timer has ticked. Um, wh what we can also do is create a variable, let's say var tick interval or something like that, and say equals zero, and then we can say um, we can say something like tick interval plus equals one for every time it ticks, and um, then we could say if tick interval equals three then timer dot one dot stop and now timer one's not global so for this class so you're going to go ahead and write at the top var timer one and we're going to define it at the out, out the top of the class and now let us access it anywhere so let's compile it again and this should only create three message boxes and then it's going to stop the timer whoops I compiled it again Give it a second. Now, as you can see, one, two, three, and then it stops. So that's how you use timers. Um, 
for real for having like events happen in real time. 